Hey guys, it's Katie at scrappingkatie.ctmh.com and I have a different layout to share with you today. We are celebrating Janet Fritz, or otherwise known as Galaxy Girl, hitting a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So what we have done is we have taken her Instagram account and I have chosen this layout here to basically copy and I'm going to be using the Close to My Heart special called in this together. Now it's very pandemic themed, which was perfect because Janet's layout is also very pandemic themed. So I'm going to start just creating squares by cutting some of those gorgeous pattern papers into two and a half inch by two and a half inch. Now close to my heart's papers, these are double sided. So you'll see me cutting um, a two and a half inch strip and then I just turn it sideways and couple of cu cut a couple of squares and I'm going to use both sides. And what I love about Janet's layout, number one, the colors, the repetitive shapes, which I have been do, uh, doing quite a few, mainly over the summer and maybe the fall months, I did quite a few layouts with repetitive shapes. But what I also love about it is I am going to use that for my title page. Now, I am scrapbooking, not necessarily... Um, I mean, I am scrapbooking the pandemic, but more so just the activities that my family and I enjoyed doing while we were forced to sit at home. Um, most of you probably don't know, but my family and I were very active. So there are some weeks where I barely have a no night at home alone. Um, I mean, and when I say alone, I mean with the kids, but without some sort of activity going on. And so it was really rare for us to try to find stuff to do. Now, mama always has stuff to do because I can lock myself in my craft room and be perfectly content, but the children, not so much. So I love that this layout is going to be the title page. And I'm going to kind of touch on some of the photos that are, um, you'll see them here in a second, but they are going to be broken down instead of by days. It's going to be broken down into activities. So I'm going to have a recipe because I don't know if you're like me, but um, I also found TikTok during the pandemic. And so I had a few recipes that I tried. Of course, we worked out in the garage. Of course, we chilled, watched TV. We binge Netflix movies. Um, I do have photos and text and stuff like that from empty shelves to where you could find water, all of that stuff. And so I'm loving that these little bitty squares can kind of give you a snippet or maybe even like a table of contents, for lack of a better word, um, for my album. So I've cut those squares and matted them on two by two white daisy cardstock. And then just like Janet's layout, I am going to spell the word pandemic. Now this is an old, old stamp set. Um, it's not even available. I don't even know how old it is, but I pulled it out from my stash and I am going to just line that up on a ruler and then attach it to one of my acrylic blocks and then pull out some Carolina ink, which is pretty close to the color that Janet's layout used as well. Um, sorry about the shaking of that camera. But then I ink that down and then also like Janet's layout, she had um, the word or the year 2020 and then she had the word life. And so I'm just using an old label maker to make those and then I'm going to peel them off. 2020 is going to go on the left of pandemic and then the word life is going to go on the right. So I'm liking how that is turning out. So now I'm going to start looking at the sticker sheet and then kind of decide which photos I want to use. Now Janet's um, layout, the inspiration layout, had a photo in each square. And I've decided not to do that again because I am going to kind of use this as a table of contents. And then some of those pattern papers, I really want them to show through. So I'm just going to be grabbing stickers from this sticker sheet that kind of go along with the photos that I've pulled and then using those to go on top of the photos, behind the photos, just to kind of add some extra interest. So, so far we have that roller toilet paper by the empty shelves in the refrigerator, I mean in the uh, grocery store. 
We have a bicycle by my kids working out in our garage. I have a shoe and then, of course, a little sentiment and that rainbow by a photo of me and my mom and my daughter on our morning walk. And that sticker says, take a hike. And then um, up by my son's just chilling, that sticker says, all day pajama party. And then the one that's by the, I use that house sticker by that sign and I just it's so funny and I'm even going to have um layouts just for the memes and the signage that I just found was so funny um you know parents having to deal with their children and when can we send them back to school and so on and so forth but that green sign up at the top I don't know if you can read it but I'm going to go ahead and read it for you it says somewhere out there there's a kid that brought home the class hamster for the weekend their parents are not happy. <laughs> I just, I could relate to that. Almost like finding your child's um, lunchbox on a Sunday night um, and, you know, having to pack it and it's been in there since Friday. I don't know if you can relate, but I definitely could relate to that hamster meme. So I'm just going to finish gluing down all these stickers as well as just a couple of other little photos. And then you can see there that I'm using 3D foam tape for a lot of these little elements just to kind of add dimension. So I think that is the last, oh, no, that's not the last sticker. Um, my children working out is, and then of course this bicycle, I'm going to add 3D foam tape to those tires and then get that glued down as well. So um, this special also comes with these little enamel dots. So I wanted to pull those out and add some here and there. I did end up going kind of crazy with these. Um, I just couldn't get it balanced. So I felt like, okay, let me add some more. Well, no, that doesn't work. Let me, let me add some more. <laughs> so I just kept adding and adding. But oh man, I sure did love those. I'm going to have to buy another pack, I think, because I used a lot. Like I used all my orange ones on this one layout and I'm going to need it for the rest of the album. So um, I think we're almost done. Maybe, uh, maybe two more dots. Yeah, I'm counting to make sure and I definitely need some more sapphire and we are done. So on the inspiration layout, Janet actually mach machine stitched all around the edge of her layout. Now, I do stitch on my layouts. I love it, but I'm not going to do that on this one. I am going to pull out some sapphire ink, which is that really dark blue, and I'm going to use the February 2021 stamp of the month from Close to My Heart called Doodle Borders. And so I'm just going to stamp that all the way around the edge. I am going to do a lot of that off camera so you don't have to just watch me go around and around and around. So here it is done. Now there were a couple of spots that either I overlapped or I didn't meet. And so there was a little bitty X in that stamp set as well. And so I just used that little X to hide those. So again, here is a look at the inspiration layout as well as my layout. Overall, I love how it turned out. And of course, I love Janet's original layout. Now we are celebrating Janet and there's a couple of other girls that have also taken different layouts um, by Janet and then they are going to post what they've done and I'll leave all those links down below. So I would love it if you would go visit Galaxy Girls Creations. Leave her some love, subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for stopping by and watching.